minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, engine full power, and lift off the starting. Go Falcon, go Starling. T-plus 30 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 from Cape Canaveral, Florida at 8.50 p.m. Eastern Time. The next major milestone coming up is Max-Q. This is when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stress Power telemetry nominal. as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Vehicle supersonic. Max Q. And there you just heard that call out for Max Q, which again is when the rocket experiences the largest amount of external stress. Now we're just about one minute away from a series of events. Those are MECO, or main engine cutoff, stage separation, SES-1, or second engine start one, and then following that is fairing separation. MECO, or main engine cutoff, is when all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage will shut down. Start of impact chill. Stage separation is when the first and second stages physically separate. And SES-1, or second engine start one, is where we light the single Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And fairing separation is when the two fairing halves will separate away from the second stage. So let's keep an eye out for those events happening in quick succession. Separation confirmed. And vac ignition and good chamber pressure. And as you just saw and heard over the nets, we did just have successful MECO, stage separation, and second engine start one. Coming up on fairing separation from the second stage in just a few seconds. Fairing separation confirmed. And there go those two fairing halves. We will be attempting to recover both of them today using our recovery vessel, Bob. Both of the fairing halves that are supporting today's mission are flight proven. One half is flying for its seventh time today and the other is flying for its eighth time. Stage one, which you see on the left side of your screen, is currently heading back down towards Earth, where our drone ship, just read the instructions, is waiting in the Atlantic Ocean. The MVAC engine attached to the second stage is continuing its burn. And this burn should last another two and a half minutes or so. Designed and manufactured by SpaceX, Starlink is the world's largest satellite internet constellation. Starlink satellites operate in a low Earth orbit, which enables the delivery of high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations all around the globe.
Getting some great views of the sunset here from about 145 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. The satellites flying on today's mission are our second generation satellites. V2 is following a nominal trajectory. These satellites are also called the V2 minis. They include a more advanced phased array antenna, as well as the use of E-band for backhaul. And this enables Starlink to provide about four times more capacity per satellite than earlier iterations. This means that with these V2 mini satellites, we will ultimately be able to provide more bandwidth with increased reliability to connect millions of people around the world with high-speed internet. Coming up next in the mission in about 30 seconds is the entry burn on the first stage, and that's the first of two burns it will go through in preparation for landing. As you can see on the right side of your screen, the MVAC engine is continuing to accelerate the second stage and the Starlink satellites into a low Earth orbit. We're now traveling over 14,000 kilometers one, per hour. Yes, that's safe. Stage one entry burn startup. And there's that call out for stage one entry burn. Stage one is now ignited engines one, five, and nine, and this is to slow it down for atmospheric re-entry. Stage one entry burn shutdown. And there's that call out for entry burn stage shutdown two, FTS on safe. the first stage. The orange glow you see coming from the MVAC nozzle is one of the methods we use to keep the engine cool during burn. The nozzle converts thermal energy. Nominal trajectories. The nozzle can convert thermal energy into light energy. Stage one transonic. There's that call out that the first stage is transonic, which is the transitional period where the vehicle is no longer traveling the speed of sound. Coming up next in around 10 seconds should be the landing burn on the first stage. Stage one landing burn. There's confirmation of stage one landing burn. Terminal guidance. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. There you have it, folks. This Falcon 9 first stage has now successfully launched and landed for the sixth time. Should be coming up on second engine cutoff in just a few seconds here. Seco.